Kevin here. Welcome to uh, another video uh, from English with Kev. Now, what I want to talk about for today is how to generate ideas for your essays. Now, this is uh, something that uh, quite a few of my students have a problem with, as I find almost every single day. They send me essays and we talk about them. And often the quality of the ideas doesn't really work or they haven't thought it through or they misinterpreted the um, question, et cetera. So what I'm going to do, we're just going to go through how to generate ideas. The main one is going to be a separate recording. I'm going to do that uh, a bit later. That's how to generate an, sorry, how to create an ideas bank. I think that's the most uh, effective way. But if you don't have an ideas bank, and you do have a question that you need to quickly think of some answers because you're under pressure of time, this may well help. So let me go to step one. So the first thing, uh, which will be the subject of another video, ideas bank. Now I think this is the most useful way to uh, approach your exam, whether it's IELTS or TOEFL, etc. More for the IELTS, I think, for the TOEFL, because, you know, some of the TOEFL questions are extremely vague, but we know for the IELTS what the themes are, you know, education, health, transport, crime. You can find a list. I'll explain that more uh, on another day. So the ideas bank. So the idea is, is that you already know what the topics are and you've got your vocab and your ideas beforehand. However, if you don't have that, step two, this is what we're going to be talking about, or perhaps I should have said uh, method two. So what you need to do when you're writing an essay, you've got five minutes or so, and you need to be making a plan. You need to be analyzing. Let me just have a drink of this. Hmm. Analyzing the question. What's the key words? What are you being asked exactly? What's the micro words? What are the key words? We'll take a look at some examples uh, in a second. So all essays need an angle and approach. How are you going to approach the question? Obviously, there's different ways, you know, depending on how it's worded. Uh, so you might have to define some of the key terms, like for example, as we'll see in an example, the popular topic of arts expenditure. So what you would have to do is you would have to define what you take the arts to mean in your essay. Is it theater? Is it music? Is it opera or ballet? Is it paintings? What does it mean? Okay. So what do you mean by these words? Because quite often, I see a lot of essays and they're really vague, you know, arts, 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 arts. So I have to ask them, what do you mean? You can't assume that I know what you mean, that the reader knows what you mean. You, you might have to tell me. In this essay, I take the arts to mean this, I take this to mean that. You've got to, you know, let me know what you're talking about. So. Break it down. This is the key. Again, we're going to take a look. What's the key words? Think. Break them down. What do they mean exactly? Give definitions. Think. What does this word mean? What does that word mean? And how could it apply in a particular context? Let's have a look. So now this is an interesting one. I was talking about this with someone a couple of days ago. Person's worth. Person's worth seems to be judged according to social status. Okay, okay. So, how I would approach this. So, a person's worth. Okay, so worth is that, I mean, it says here social status. So, is that high rank or low rank? Are you talking about social class? Is it class? Like in England, we still have a class system, although some people think that we don't. We certainly do. Are you talking about social class? Is that what you're talking about? 
um, material possessions? Are you talking about maybe um, kids at school with the latest phones, with the latest clothes, the designer labels? Is that what you're talking about? Judged, what does judge mean? So someone's making a judgment. So they are deciding what kind of a person you are based on your social status, whether your class or income. Is it income? Because class and income are not always the same. Is it what you own? Is it in terms of what you're wearing? Do you design a clothes? Do you have the latest iPhone or etc.? Okay, you've got to think this, right? Old fashioned values. Are they old fashioned? Honor, kindness and trust. So who is honorable? Who is trustworthy in society? Are you talking about policemen or firefighters or teachers? Who are you talking about? And which kind of people are judged according to the social status? So again, you've got to think it out. What are you talking about? Okay. So now here's uh, another one, IELTS. So in some countries, teenagers have jobs, but we're still students. Is this a good idea? So some countries, right. So what specific, you know, because it says specific reasons and, and details. Uh, I think this is a TOEFL one, I think. Yeah, yeah. So in some countries, what countries? Are you talking about America, the UK? Or are you talking about um, China, Indonesia? Obviously, in some countries, people are quite poor. And to be a student, to, they have to work and, again, have jobs. So is this talking about part-time jobs or full-time jobs? Now, in the UK, I mean, I used to have a part-time job when I was a student at university. I was working Saturday, Sunday, for, you know, earning a few, uh, a few pounds as an undergrad. Is that what you're talking about? So what countries and teenagers, so it's not talking about kids or children, it's talking about teenagers, students. So is it talking about kids at school? Is it talking about teenagers at uni? Because, you know, um, so again, when I was at university, and I believe it's probably the same now, I used to know quite a few people as undergraduates, and they would have some bar job at weekends. I was working in a shop. Of this kind of thing what are you talking about okay that'll help you to generate some ideas here's another one i think this is from the TOEFL test also so if you were an employer which kind of worker would you prefer an inexperienced worker a lower salary experienced worker at higher salary again what kind of employer what kind of job you know i mean so it's talking about what kind of worker but what industry? What are you talking about? If you're talking about like, um, maybe you have a market stall and you want some guy to run the market stall to sell fruit and vegetables. Do you really need an experienced worker to put some apples into a bag and give it to somebody in a market? Not really. So what kind of, you know, what employer, what sector, what industry, what kind of job? Because obviously, um, I presume if you were, you know, if you had some IT job, you'd want somebody with experience, some professional job, you'd want experience. Uh, you know, so again, you've got to think it through. What are you talking about? What particular employer? Are you talking about state or private? Uh, what kind of job? What kind of work? You know? So these are all the things that you've got to try and think about. You know? So like in this one here, so again, what countries? What jobs? I mean, are you talking about? So, you know, it could be a good idea, for example, for maybe if you're a university student to maybe have a bar job. You know? So you could learn people skills, managing your time, you know, all these kind of things. That could well be good. Um, working in a, uh, a steel mill as an undergraduate is probably not a good 
idea. So what are you talk? I mean, again, sp specifics, specific reasons and details. Again, this one here, a person's worth. So in your examples, what kind of person, who are you talking about? You know, are you talking about maybe uh, some modern day celebrities? I won't mention any names, but there's some people around the world who seem to be famous just for being famous. Or they've got lots of money or they're always on TV and they seem to be judged to be better people than people who are not. So, you know, what kind of people who's got these values? specifics what are you talking about okay so that's what i would do i'd think about that so this is what i mean when i say break it down what are the keywords again you know there was one about uh i forgot to did i put it here uh, i probably didn't let me just have a look uh, uh, no there was one i was going to use uh, and it was about arts. So it was something like, uh, should the government subsidize the arts or should it spend that money on public services? So in that one, if you were talking about art, you would have to say, okay, well, what do I mean by the arts? So if you're talking about opera or theater or ballet, these are quite elitist entertainment because those kind of things are in fact entertainment. So should the state be subsidizing elitist groups entertainment? If it's entertainment, surely the individual should pay. So what arts, what are you talking about? You know, are you talking about, um, should they subsidize the collection of paintings that may be of an historical nature? You know, like um, an archive for a few, generations are you talking about that and what kind of public services um are you talking about education or healthcare? but people already pay for those services anyway out of the taxes so what i you know what are you talking about so this is what you you have to try and do analysis break it down so let's back to the start us again okay so ideas bank i'm going to be talking about that on another occasion um, quite a few things there. Analyze the key words, as I said. What are you being asked exactly? One of the main reasons for people getting a low task response score is they misinterpret the question, and that's not good. All I say is need an angle at an approach. Which way are you going to go? Are you going to go down the elitist entertainment route for like art. So are you going to go down? Yes, they should, because it's a duty to preserve the national identity. Does art represent that? You know, what is the angle you're going to take there? Okay. And break it down, get those keywords, start thinking, analyze in this context, what does it mean? Okay. So I hope that helps. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Next video is probably going to be about the ideas bank. I may do it a little bit later. We'll see how it how it goes. Lots of students for me today, as always. So hope that helps. Any comments if you need anything, you know, the um, comment box is below. Mm -hmm.